in this question it says sum of first four consecutive terms in ap is how much 32 and the ratio of the product of the first and last to that of the product of two middle term is found to be 7 is to 15 we have to find these numbers now if you are going to take uh, the ap like this like a being the first term and add with this a plus uh, i mean to say that taking the ap is like this that is a a plus d a plus 2d and then a plus 3d check if you are adding these terms you are getting what 4a plus 6d is equal to 32 here you cannot get the value of either a or d so it results to uh, give you a very complicated question uh, working so therefore we are going to modify this i mean i'm going to take the first term as a minus 3d right this being the first term and then uh, here I'm taking D as how much? 2D. Uh, the, here the common difference is 2D. So adding 2D to this, that will give us A plus. Adding to the 2D over here, we are getting A minus D. Adding 2D to this, I'm getting what? A plus D, right? Adding 2D to this, adding 2D to this, we'll get the next term as A plus 3D. That's what we are going to take these as AP. Now check if I add these terms, if I add, let's say put a plus sign in between. If I add these, what you see that this is how much? Check this is minus 4D. So D get cancelled over here, right? You see minus 4D, minus D minus D and minus 3D and plus 3D get cancelled. So you check we got the value of A over here. And this is one, the sum is given how much? The sum I forgot to write. The sum was given as 32. So if we add, this is how many? 4 times A is equal to 32. So we can get A as how much? 8. This way we can simplify the working of the question. Let's put this over here. That's fine. <laughs> now, we are going to use the next concept, the ratio of the product of first and the last term. So, product of the first and last. What is the first term over here? That is A minus 3D. It's product with the last term. That is A plus 3D. Uh, ratio, that means we need to divide with the product of the middle two term. That means A minus D multiplied by a plus d these are the two middle terms and that results to give you 7 over 15 now check what we can do here we can apply the identity of a plus b a minus b in the numerator so this is what a square minus 3d square that is 9d square and then this is a square minus d square is 7 over 15 we can place the value of a, but we should do it later. Now I'm doing cross multiplication over here. By cross multiplication, what we'll get? This is 15 times. Yeah, 15 times a square minus 9 into 15 is 2 to 5. Yes, it is. Uh, 9 into 15, sorry. 9 into 15 should give you 135. So minus 135 d square. And on the right hand side, it will be 7 times d square minus 7 times a square, right? First, I should write a square. 7 times a square minus 7 times d square. Keeping the like terms together, 15 minus 7 is how much? 8. So this is 8 times a square. And then we have to add this with 7, right? So on adding 7, we'll get how much? 1. Yeah, minus 135. So 135 minus 7 should give you how much? 128. Positive 128. D square can be reduced, right? Can be, uh, yeah, it's divisible. So I can reduce this by how much? 16 times. So A square is what? 16 times D square. See here we had the value of A. So I'm replacing, I'm replacing the value of a from here so a square should give you how much 64 
is equal to 16 times d square yes it can be reduced further 4 so d square comes out to be 4 that means d considering 16 16 4 times well 16 into 4 is 64 so d we are getting well it should be plus minus 4 now i'm going to consider only the positive values right d here as positive 2 now this is because uh, we got this sum as 32 now once we got this we have to find what find the numbers so the numbers has to be these only so we are going to replace this number so we need a space over here let's say if i erase this part of the working so i'm going to get these numbers first is a minus d first number is a minus 3d so a is how much a is 8 8 minus 3 times d and d is 2 so it is 8 minus 6 so this is coming as how much 2 now likewise we can get the other values over here that next is a minus d this is a minus d and d is how much a first of all i write a as 8 minus and d is 2 so that comes out to be 6 similarly we can get this which is a plus d and a plus d is how much that's 8 plus 2 8 plus 2 that is 10 and lastly we have a plus 3 times d that is a which is 8 and plus 3 times of 2 is how much 6 that is 14 so we'll say 2 10 6 and 14 are the required numbers this is what we have to get in this question